Good morning, student. Myself, Dr. Yogesh Patinga, Assistant Professor in Commerce, GS College of Commerce, Falda. Uh, in last lecture, we discussed about the calculation of arithmetic mean by discrete series. Uh, in previous lecture, uh, uh, we discussed about uh, the calculation of arithmetic mean uh, in simple series, individual series. So I, I will actually I will try the to calculate all those. Uh, uh, what we can say the averages as we had uh, seen in a third lecture simple average arithmetic average positional average and moving averages miscellaneous averages the averages that we had in our syllabus i will try to see those averages uh, i will try to explain those averages uh, each average in all those three methods uh, that is a uh, individual one uh, discrete series and uh, the third one is a continuous series mm. In particular, this lecture we are going to concentrate on continuous series. First, why it is called as continuous series? As you will see here, there is a continuity in data. Okay, look at here. It is actually a very it is actually a simple series, individual series. There is no frequency, so it is not called as a discrete series. There is no continuity in data. The data is being uh, not in a continuous manner. But again, when you see this thing, the continuous series, as we are going to proceed with this information in this particular lecture, what we have to calculate here, we have to calculate, we have to find out the arithmetic average. Information is given in continuous series. Look, there is a continuity in data, 100 to 200. The next item starts from 200, 200 to 300, 300 to 400, 400 to 500, 500 to 600, 600 to 700, 700 to 800. So there is a continuity in data. The data is not being break up. Uh, data is not being uh, break here. Uh, there is no discontinuity in data. This type of in, uh, information is actually a part of continuous series. Oh, look, there are a lot of different series uh, that uh, we will come across uh, in, in this particular syllabus that uh, inclusive series, uh, then more than, less than series, where we have to convert this series in a continuous series. That those type of problems we will see in coming lectures. But again, this is actually a simple continuous series. Uh, frequency is being given. Now we will first interpret this information. What is the interpretation of this information? Is that uh, the income range is being given here, 100 to 200. How many workers are there? 12 workers. Understand? In, in, for in the range of 200 to 300, how many workers are there? 18. So, in this continuous series, you will get a range. In that particular range, how many people are there? There you will get a frequency. So, this type of information happens to be in continuous series. So, I hope you understand the concept behind a continuous series. Now, we are going to start uh, to solve this particular problem uh, in a direct method and indirect method. Once again, I am repeating the same thing. There is no need to solve the problem in these two methods simultaneously. You have to solve only one, uh, you have to solve your problem only in one method. The method you think very easy for you, time, um, time saving for you, that method you need to adopt. Okay, now moving to the solution. First, we just uh, place the data in a tabular form. So this is the information given here, uh, the income range. This is the frequency that we had been given. Uh, we just uh, did the calculation of all these items here. 12 plus 18 plus 17 plus 23 plus 20 plus 6 plus 4. You will get the answer of n here. n equals 200. Now here we have to find out the mid value. This is not. This is actually again a uh, uh, typing here. This is mid value. MV. How you will get a MV? Because why there is a need of MV? Because here we have a range. We don't have the uh, particular data here. So what we have to do here, we have to find out the mid value of this particular range. So this is L1, low value, this is L2, higher value. When you do the addition of these two uh, values and divided it by 2 because number of items are 2, you will get the mid value. So what we did here, L1 plus L2 divided by 2. So 100 plus 200 divided by 2, 300, 300 divided by 2, it will be 150. So the things, same thing you have to add out here, 200 plus 300, 500 divided by 2, 250. 300 plus 400, 700 divided by 2, 350, 400 plus 500, 900 divided by 2, 450 and so on. So you will get this information of mid value. Okay. So here you have frequency and here you have mid value of X. So now this is your original X because we derived this values from this particular range. So this is F for you. 
this is new x for you so we will now get fx here what is because why because this, this is the need of our formula summation fx divided by n so fx will be now 12 multiplied by 150 1800 18 multiplied by 250 4500 17 multiplied by 350 59,550 and so on so after doing uh, the addition of this uh, values you will get 40,500 that will be summation fx now we have the answer of summation fx 40,500 we have the answer of n so summation fx divided by n it will be 40,500 divided by 100 so the answer is 405 so the arithmetic mean uh, had the answer that we had as the arithmetic mean of uh, direct method is 405 now we will cross check this answer by using indirect method so i hope you understand this method very well a simple thing a uh, simple way uh, you can just have this method okay now uh, moving to indirect method again uh, we have to calculate the things that is the need of the uh, formula what is the formula x that is assume mean plus summation fdx uh, fd 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 dash that is uh, way we can call it divided by capital n multiplied by i i is actually interval okay now mean equals to x so what we have to calculate here x plus summation fd dash divided by n multiplied by i so these are the information which are being given here uh, class interval and frequency so we just first write down those information class interval and frequency now we will move to the uh, now we have to move with uh, the other values of this particular table the as per our requirement so first we have to find out the mv as we calculated here same thing 150 250 350 450 550 650 and 750 this information is derived from this particular ranges class intervals like this okay then we have to find out the deviation from x ds so uh, dx uh, how we derive deviation from x we just have to find out the assume mean that assume mean we deduct from the value of x which is now uh, this column for us so what we did here uh, we just uh, assume this as assume mean the smallest value of this particular column now we are moving, going to deduct this value from this new x because why because we have to find out the dx so 150 minus 150 0 250 minus 150 100 350 minus 150 200 and so on so now this is a dx for us but again uh, uh, we don't have to find out the dx only we have to find out the dx interval also that thing is called as a d dx dash or dx interval like this so uh, how to find out the dx interval or dx dash uh, we have to divide it with the interval now what is the interval interval is actually a gap between these two values and look at the gap between these two values is always 100 because that is a uh, same interval as it is a continuous series so what we are going to divide do here we have to find out d dash interval the dx interval or d dash x x so uh, we have to divide dx by 100 100 is actually a class interval between these ranges so 0 divided 0 divided by 100 0 100 divided by 100 1 200 divided by 102 300 divided by 103 and so on 600 divided by 106 now we have the answer dx interval okay or d dash x as you want to call it but as our formula we need summation f d x interval or f d dash x so how we will get that we have to multiply these two columns now okay d x interval multiplied by frequency okay how that's why we are going to derive this thing because this thing is going to be used here understand so 0 multiplied by 12 0 18 multiplied by 1 18 17 multiplied by 2 34 23 multiplied by 3 69 20 multiplied by 4 80 
6 multiplied by 5 30 4 multiplied by 6 24 fdx interval or fd dash x derived from frequency and dx interval multiplying these two columns these two columns okay understand but we need summation fdx interval or summation fd dash x so 0 plus 18 plus 34 plus 69 plus 80 plus 30 plus 24 255 so this is the answer of summation fdx interval so the formula is mean equals to x plus summation of dx interval divided by capital N multiplied by i. x is assumed mean that we uh, just consider as 150 plus summation of dx interval 255 divided by n. The value of n is the uh, summation of this particular frequency is 200 multiplied by i. i is the interval, class interval as we know that i is 100 here because the gap of these two values is 100 and which is a common gap so 100 now again as you mentioned as i mentioned earlier in earlier lecture the uh, rules of arithmetic rules of mathematics so first we will write 150 okay then we will uh, do the calculation of this one and you will get the answer of 405 okay 405 uh, here we will get the answer of 405 so uh, these two answers are same here uh, so uh, with the help of direct method and indirect method we had the answers so as you see here the answer of direct method and indirect method the same answers so i have i hope you understand the same problem by these two methods direct method and indirect method i again recommend you the indirect method uh, when you are going to solve the problem in continuous series uh, in examination generally uh, there is a more focus uh, on continuous series rather than uh, simple series or a discrete series so these are the uh, various columns that you have to prepare at the time of calculation of arithmetic mean in continuous series and uh, you will find out the answer either by direct method and indirect method so this way uh, we just finished the arithmetic mean uh, from the set of mean median and mode uh, we had seen the arithmetic mean in last three lectures uh, first we had seen simple series or individual series by direct and indirect method then uh, discrete series by direct and indirect method and today uh, continuous series in direct and indirect method uh, refer the different reference books and textbooks which we you have and uh, 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 maybe there will be some uh, variations in using of formulas or uh, uh, calculation methodologies but again uh, it is a subject of statistics that's why there is always scope of in variations uh, in variations uh, variation may be in formula or variation may be in calculation methodology but the most important thing is that the answer should be correct so uh, don't get confused that uh, in one book the formula may be differ in another uh, book the formula may be different uh, the calculation methodology or uh, the system of solving the problem may be different but uh, the, uh, the formula and the methodology which you think is a simple for you which you think that your time will get saved that you need to adopt uh, I hope you understand the arithmetic mean concept in uh, these three ways in, the, in these three uh, methodologies uh, in these three series simple series discrete series and continuous series uh, in next lecture we will uh, move to the median part again we will see this uh, median in same way uh, individual discrete and continuous thank you